This is the old 1,000 Kenyan shillings note. Now, the deadline for using this note in Kenya was on 30th of September 2019, according to the government's instruction. On 25th of the same month, I went to a bookshop with the same note to buy a book. And the lady politely told me, Sir, we are sorry we are no more accepting this note. Kindly go and exchange it at the bank. And I looked at this note and wondered how the mighty can fall. Now, who would imagine that this legendary note would become obsolete and useless? This note caused goosebumps whenever someone gave you a bunch of the same. Many lives were transformed by this note here. Some people even lost their lives because of this note here. But despite, uh, despite of all the exploits, right now it is just mere paper because it has been faced out with time. Ladies and gentlemen, from this note we learn to use our time and chance very well knowing that we are not there forever. And let us stop the attitude that some people cannot do without us. You hear someone speaking proudly that if it were not for me, you'd have died. Or if I resign now, this company can collapse immediately. Or if I didn't marry you, you'd have not, have, you'd have not had the kind of life you're having right now. It was a privilege, it was by favor that I got married to you. Or someone is saying, if I never paid your school fee, you'd have not seen a door of a classroom. I know God can send you, God can send someone to represent him in another person's life. But God can never send you to replace him in someone's life. God never comes physically to answer our prayers, but reaches us through our minds and people. And so if you're at a position to help someone, I suggest that you do it from your heart and the humility. And please don't use that help as, as carrot and stick to control and manipulate them. If you're working somewhere, if you're still working, I suggest that you develop good relationships and invest before you become like this note and wish you had more time.